Is it safe to feed your dog vegan? Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe. Hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Should your dog become a vegan? Seems like it's the thing that's happening these days. Dr. Michael Fox says that's okay for your dog to be vegan. Ernie Ward, no partner with companies, they're starting a new vegan dog food line. You know, more and more people are choosing a vegan lifestyle and they're basing it on environmental reasons, they're basing it on ethical reasons. You know, based on your own personal ethics, your own personal beliefs, should you then be transferring that to your dog? And if you do, is it like actually healthy? Like, is it safe? Is it okay to do? Can your dog live on a vegetarian diet? Yes, but should they? In my opinion, no. Vegetarian, vegan diets, yes, they can be formulated for your dog, but there is a lot of room for error. An improperly balanced vegan diet. Well, number one, it can lead to inadequate levels of protein. Your adult dog needs a minimum of 15% digestible protein. You know, just because it says that there's 15% or more protein in the food doesn't mean your dog can then digest and break it down. And there I see some big issues with many of the plant-based dog foods. Great, you're, you're, there's added soy, there's added like say pulses, AKA lentils, etc., which is another whole story. Sure, it looks like there's adequate levels of protein, but if your dog can't break that protein down and use it, it can lead to some real serious issues. Number two, the protein building blocks. It's kind of like a stack of cards. So, you don't build them properly, man, they just fall down. The protein is made up of the building blocks called amino acids, and there are specific amino acids that your dog needs, aka taurine for normal heart function, such as the link of dog food and DCM dilated cardiomyopathy. It's much more difficult to take this plant protein and ensure that it's got all the adequate levels of the needed amino acids that are critical for normal function that your dog needs. Then there's other vitamins and minerals, you know, the B vitamins, calcium, phosphorus, iron. Many of those are in higher levels in animal protein, Hence, you know, we all know the probably vegan or vegetarian person that just looks all pale is on things to make sure they've got supplemental iron so their blood, red blood cell level stays high enough. To ensure that your dog has adequate iron levels, to have adequate red cell count, animal protein makes it really easy, right? And you like it. There can be issues with some of the plant-based proteins. Soy has been linked to autoimmune disease, you know, triggering autoantibodies targeting things such as a thyroid gland. You know, these plant proteins, they also contain their own plant-type hormones that are then potentially affecting and causing imbalances in your pet's metabolic system. In my opinion, I like to think of our dogs as facultative carnivores, meaning they do better when the primary portions of their diet is based on an animal protein versus this less than appetizing looking soy protein. I understand wanting to balance your own personal ethics with what you're feeding your dog. Believe it or not, even little Tula, she descended from wolves and the bulk of their diet, it was what they hunted. I want to do a little taste test here. In bowl number one is soy. It was stir fried last night. So it's pretty good, kind of like it. Bowl number two, we have chicken. Okay. Our test subject, little Tula, what will she prefer? Number one, the soy. Number two, the chicken. Okay, Poodle, we have chicken. We have soy. What do you choose? Good girl. Okay. Good girl, Tula. What do you want? Good girl. You can have one of those. Which one? Good girl. Chicken, soy. What do you choose? Good girl. Oh, the nose goes for the chicken. It believes the chicken is the winner. Let's also see though if she will eat the soy. Will you eat the soy? Oh, she eats the soy. What does that mean? I have an omnivore. What would you, 
The soy is just really, really chewy. Look at that. Mmm. Almost kind of spongy. Is it real? So in the end, what do I think? Well, I think if you're gonna feed in the health interest of your dog, you're better off feeding an animal-based protein first, aka the chicken. Can you feed a vegan dog food? Can it be balanced? Yes, it's obviously much more difficult. Be much more careful. And my bigger concern is sort of what's gonna happen with the longer term health of these dogs. But say you wanna feed a little less animal protein, think about the treats, right? So maybe instead of Tula having like chicken treats, AKA for the video, she can have some soy treats. Cause it looks like the poodle likes soy as well. Thanks for watching, it's Dr. Jones. Soy. There's so much to her. Like, it looks like chicken on the outside is not chicken on the inside.